Joined now from Oslo by Jan Egland from Human Rights Watch. He had also served as UN Under Secretary for Humanitarian Affairs. Today, he joined a global call for action from the international community. And uh, as somebody who has served at the highest echelons of the United Nations, Jan Egland, your words are very strong. You urge the UN Security Council to revoke Assad's license to kill. In effect, you're saying that the Security Council has given Assad a license to kill. Indeed, that's what we're saying. And we're 40 former heads of state, uh, foreign ministers, UN leaders, etc. We see international politics at its worst here. For one entire year, unarmed protesters have been shot. To have, have been shot. The orders for, have come from the highest level to shoot, to kill. This has to stop. How do you stop it? Well, we prescribe a number of things. Number one, unified uh, pressure from the Security Council on the government of uh, Syria. This started by the government shooting at unarmed protesters. Secondly, withdrawal of the forces from places like Homs, unimpeded access for humanitarian uh, workers who are ready to help those who are bleeding to death, and um, a full and utter support for the UN Arab League uh, uh, envoy, Kofi Annan, uh, who, who needs backing from a unified world, which he hasn't at the moment. Well, I mean, the problem, surely, is Kofi Annan has been in there. He exactly repeated, really, exactly what you're asking for. Valerie Amos from the Humanitarian Affairs Office, your previous job, uh, she's been in there and asked the same thing and got an absolute blank from Assad. And the shooting and killing continues. It continues now in its second year. But I believe one of, one of the problems is really that Assad feels that there is no unified pressure on him, that he, he's still being sold arms even. I mean, there, there isn't even a, a unified sanctions against this regime, which has now killed 7,500 of their own, own people who are responsible, as the High Commissioner for Human Rights has said, crimes against humanity. And there is a big responsibility now on Russia and China in particular to join an international consensus in putting pressure on the government. Well, how do you persuade two powers that have their own very deep-seated reasons for not coming in behind this resolution? Well, one is by images that you just showed of women and children being massacred. This is how low this thing has uh, fallen. But secondly, it could get much, much worse. It's horrible now. It could become a, 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 a total catastrophe, not only for Syria, even for the region. Russia, China, all of the, all, all of the powers must see this. Uh, the West have done many hypocritical acts of supporting tyrannical leaders in the Middle East. Uh, this is not to say that one power is worse than the other, but in this case, it's Russia and China who are shielding the dictator. Jan Eglund, thank you very much indeed for joining us from Oslo. Cathy.